our first guest tonight is a Tony and Emmy-winning actor who spent eight years hosting the Late Late Show with James Corden. His new interview show, This Life of Mine, premieres February 1st on Sirius XM Stars Channel 109 in the Sirius XM app. Please welcome back to the show our good friend James Corden, everybody. Welcome back to the States. Welcome back to a talk show studio. I know. You got out of the life. I did. You got out of the life. I did. I feel like And I'm... you can too. <laughs> I do, I That's do. That's all I'm doing. I went to see Jimmy last night. I'm gonna go and see Steven in a minute and I say, listen, you don't, I know they make you feel like you've got to do this. I gotta do it. You don't. I gotta do it. I gotta you do don't. it tomorrow, and then I gotta you do it the next day. Well, that's that's the thing. You yeah. realize. You how much more time do you have in your day, James? Oh. Oh, there's a yeah, but that can have that's a double-edged sword. Right, that's you know, true. That's yeah, then yeah. I've got time to really contemplate. <laughs> go, to go to quite well, a dark busy. place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I have not been doing anything. In truth, but I, I really, I really uh, decided to. We were so conscious that my wife and I that we were moving. You know, we have three kids. They're twelve, nine, and six, and that to take them, to lift them up from Los Angeles and and be back in London. That that for me then to leave. Would be and to go off and do anything else yeah, would be things, sure. would be you know a, a, such a stupid decision. So all we've been doing, all we've been doing is just really just focusing on trying to. We knew we were going to hit bumps along the way. That was inevitable. But to try and make them as as soft as we could for for them, really, that was the biggest thing. You were well known in the UK uh, before you came over here to do your show, and then mm. very quickly you became well known here. When you went back to the UK, had they? Been familiar with the work you were doing over here? Did the Late Late Show make a mark? Well, they, I suppose, because you know, we 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 came up. We had a couple of clips or segments that that, that would that would do very well on, go online, worldwide. of and course. Stuff. So they knew that. But nobody, because back at home in Britain, no one does a talk show every night of the week. Yes. So like Graham Norton, which is the biggest talk show in the country, and and it was a huge influence on me and the way that we built our show, is on once a week for I think. 30 weeks of the year, and that is exactly how it should be done. I mean, <laughs> I'm so jealous of him. Nobody, nobody can comp nobody at home would comprehend, because I'd be like, well, no, because I'm doing a show, and they go, well, you just did it yesterday. I go, mm hmm yeah, no, no, I know. I'm <laughs> and again, they're, well, what are you doing? It's essentially the same, just with different people. That's it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's a long fever dream, really. Also, That's the other thing I'm so jealous every time you see Graham Norton, it's four of the most famous people in the world. Yes. His, he always, his guests are, any one of us would kill ourselves. Well, to have all of his guests on one show. Because he's doing it once a week for yeah. 30 weeks of the year. So it's like, it's all of those, yeah, it's like, look, if, if you were doing this once a week, I don't make the cut here. No. I'm not here. <laughs> not a chance. Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, not yeah. a chance. Yeah. I'd be waiting outside, <laughs> hoping that there's some awful bout of gastric flu yeah. or something. And, <laughs> and like, then I might just get yeah, on. Hanks but went that's down. The, yeah. Bad news, Hanks went down. Good news, Corden's outside. Correct. Yeah. Bradley, Bradley Cooper <laughs> slipped. <laughs> Don't worry, bringing that's it. So, so you know, I, at this moment, I'm very grateful that you do it every day. Yeah, yes, well, thank you. I'm it. grateful. I, yes. Look, I'm grateful to have you. Um, how about uh, obviously, so well known in both places. Mm. What is the difference between how you're approached by people in LA versus how you're approached by people in London? Well, like, you don't. I, I, you don't really get approached. By anyone in LA, you don't yeah. because firstly you're not walking anywhere. Right. If you're just in a car, yeah. and then you're in a valet. But also, even if you're in a restaurant, you know, you're aware. If you live in Los Angeles and you host a show at 12:35 in the morning on CBS, you know where you are in the food chain. Yeah. You know, like Oprah was in here yesterday. They actually look at you with disdain. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. Oh, it's you! Oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> like that. But uh, in in the UK, I I, um, I wrote a TV show that, that, that not many people would, would, would yeah. ever really know. I wrote a TV show called Gavin and Stacey, which <laughs> is. Oh. There you go. I'm watching right now. You're right now. You're like I should be getting residuals. <laughs> Hang on. Are you are you are you British? You are you? Are you? Whereabouts are you from? Kent, 
Look out, guys. Be careful. Yeah. That... <laughs> Whereabouts in Kent? Oh, they're thieves. They are thieves. <laughs> Um, oh, also, I don't, love that you're don't here come here and uh, like now start the expectation that I'm gonna do crowd work. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want people showing up. They're gonna go crazy every time they hear where they're from. No, so I, so <laughs> I, I, I did this show uh, called Gavin and Stacey, which, which uh, to everybody's surprise, mostly me and my, uh, me and my best friend Ruth Jones, we wrote it together, and so. Really, more often than, than anything else, people will come up to me and they'll say catchphrases from yes. that show. Can you remember a catchphrase? What's occurring? What's occurring? There you go. <laughs> That's what people will say to me all the time. <laughs> or more often than not, they'll come up to me and they'll ask, because the last episode ended on a proposal, and they will ask, did Smithy say yes or no? Uh -huh. Which I will never share. What is, the, <laughs> what is the catchphrase? What's the... No, it's well. The show is set in uh, um, Sirius XM. I'm going to be so pleased that we're yeah. talking about. <laughs> now, the show is set in a, a, a small town out just outside of London in Essex called Billericay, and a, an island called Barry Island, which is in Wales, just outside of Cardiff. And in Barry, they've got a very particular accent. It's sort of like that, right? And you say, "Oh, what's occurring?" Right? Which my friend. Oh, uh, what's occurring? What's occurring? I gotcha. Got it. She'd say, "Oh, what's occurring?" And that's where that came from. All yeah. right. Yeah. So uh, maybe watch that instead of the XM show. What do you think? I mean, look, I get, I get, I get, I get paid for the attempt, man. <laughs> I have a lot. We're gonna the next segment is gonna be all serious oh, XM. No. We'll be right back with you.